Hello, Daniel here, and I want to talk to you about Microsoft's Event Viewer. This is in Windows Server 2008, but it's generally uh, been in all the Windows operating systems. The server editions do have a little bit more uh, information and control you can use with them. But to open the Event Viewer, you can go to Control Panel, then Administrative Tools, just click on Event Viewer. And there's what it looks like when it opens. You can see it presents you with sort of a summary screen of what errors you have. Uh, you can expand it and get the actual errors, but this is basically just used to show you how many you've had in the last hour, the last day, and the last week, and the recently view, viewed errors and your log summary. But where the real information is is by actually expanding the Windows log over here on the left side and clicking on the different subsections, starting with the Applications tab. These are events, which are uh, most of the time you're going to be looking for errors, but they're called events. And they actually have three levels of events, information, a warning, and then an actual error. Of course, errors are the most serious, so let's go ahead and sort that by the level. And that'll put uh, our errors at the top. And then you can see uh, by clicking on exactly what that is. This one's not incredibly helpful. Disabled performance counter data collection from the policy agent service because the performance counter library for that service has generated one or more errors. Okay, it doesn't really tell you where to start on that one. But sometimes you get pretty good information such as this one which says that a file could not be read by Visual Studio on the eDrive. If you click on a warning, a lot of them are, you know, not really that helpful or useful, like token-based activation failed. That's just for Windows is trying to activate, so that one will probably be on there a lot. Let's move on to another tab, such as security. And remember when you're going through these error messages that if you find one that's confusing or not helpful, you can always go to Google and just tap it in, copy and paste, and it'll probably tell you uh, what's going on. Now the security tab is a little bit different. It records audited events or events you can turn on and off. In this case we're auditing logons and logoffs. And that by default is not turned on. To turn it on you go to administrative tools once again. Click on local security policy. From there you can click on uh, your different events under the audit policy tab. Let's choose uh, what all you want to audit. Let's go back to the event viewer. Click on system is usually where you're going to find a lot of important error messages because these actually relate to the operating system itself and it's usually where all your driver errors and things of that nature will show up. Here's one from HP, the HP DeskJet series uh, printer is unknown. Contact the administrator to install the driver before you log in again. So basically this operating system cannot recognize that specific printer. That's a pretty easy fix. You just go find the driver, but this lets you know where to start. You've had an error. It didn't find the driver. So basically go find a new driver. In addition to these tools, you can also go over to the right hand side and click to search for a specific error or program. Let's see if I search for HP if it finds anything. And that yeah, I found the one we just looked at. That's a pretty good search. If you, if you know where to start, you can find the errors related to any program or driver event. Of course, you can also refresh. If you're having a constant stream of errors, you might want to go ahead and do that. And you can save and clear and open logs as well so you can analyze them at a future date. This concludes my summary of the event viewer.